Hi guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books, and I'm here today to bring you a non-bookish video. I will not take offense if you do not want to watch it. If you want to wait for the next bookish video, go right ahead. Um, but I'm just such a Christmas nut that I really wanted to share with you some of our favorite Christmas movies that we watch during this season. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the stack of movies that I have right here. So I'm sure that many of you out there watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I actually made my husband watch this for the first time last year. He had seen maybe parts here or there of it, but he had never fully watched it and definitely never fully watched it as an adult. And when we watched this movie together as a family, we laughed so hard. We actually got a Christmas tree last year that we did not realize was as big as it was and it kind of reminded us of the tree scene in this movie. So this is definitely one of our favorite Christmas movies. So some of our favorite movies, which are just classic movies, are obviously Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Brooke loves Rudolph. She um, made a Clarice last year at Build-A-Bear. She found a Rudolph at like our local Goodwill, had to have it. And then this year she made another reindeer, which is like um, Build-A-Bear's own made up reindeer, but his name is Tinsel. She just loves reindeers. She loves watching this movie. I love watching it. It's such a classic. I grew up with it and it doesn't feel like Christmas unless I've watched this movie. In that same vein is Charlie Brown. Um, a Charlie Brown Christmas is one of my favorites. The kids like it, um, but they don't, they don't love it. So if they don't watch it, it's no big deal. But if I don't watch it, it's a huge deal. So I had to have it um, on DVD so I could just watch it whenever I was wanting to, whenever I was in the mood. And then the next collection I bought actually has quite a few quite movies. Can I talk today? The next collection has quite a few movies. The first one being um, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which is one of our absolute favorites. Um, I enjoy the animated version so much. I absolutely adore Max in the animated version. It also includes on that disc, The Leprechaun's Christmas Gold and Pinocchio's Christmas, which I've never watched those, so we'll be giving those a try this year. And then disc two um, features the Year Without a Santa Claus Deluxe Edition, um, which is one of my kids' absolute favorites. Um, they also love um, A Miser Brothers Christmas, which is included in here. And then it also has Rudolph Shiny New Year and Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey and Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July and Jack Frost, which I'm not like a huge fan of any of those. I've read, I've seen a couple of them, but you know, on a lazy Sunday afternoon when I just want to maybe lay down and take a nap. I'll probably pop this into the the, the uh, DVD player and let the kids watch it while mom watches it from behind her eyelids. The next trio of movies is one of our family's all-time favorite trios ever. We have to watch these every single year. It does not feel like Christmas anymore without watching them. And those are the Santa Claus movies. So we have the original featuring Tim Allen. And then we have Santa Claus 2 and Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause. Now, if I had to pick a favorite out of these, I don't know. I really do like the original, but I think 2 may be my favorite of all time. 3 is really enjoyable too. I really like Martin Short. Um, he plays Jack Frost and I really do um, enjoy him. So it's kind of hard to pick a favorite, but if I had to, I would probably say Santa Claus too. The next movie is one of my favorites, and that is How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. My husband doesn't particularly care for this one. Um, he'll watch it, but it's not his favorite. He really enjoys the animated version, um, but the kids and I absolutely love this. We actually quote it throughout the year, so that tells you how much we really, really love it. Then the next one is Home Alone. Such a classic. I actually do not like Home Alone 2, nor do I like any of the other Home Alones that have come out past 2. Um, 2 I can deal with. My kids like it. 
for me, I would rather it just be a one and done kind of a movie. Um, so this one is definitely my favorite. I watched this last year with the kids and it was Brooke's first year of really paying attention to it and really, really watching it. And she laughed hysterically throughout the whole movie. I cannot wait to rewatch it with her again this year because I don't think she remembers it that well. So I'm really excited to do that. Then, the next movie is The Polar Express. Now this is a movie that when I first watched it, I didn't really like it, but then it really grew on me. And now the kids and I love this. My husband doesn't really like it, I don't think. It's not that he doesn't like it, I don't think he's ever watched it straight through. He has a problem during movies where he just falls asleep, even when we go to the movie theater. So I don't know if he's ever seen it in its entirety, um, but the kids and I will sing the hot chocolate song throughout the year and we are always saying caribou um, because the caribous were in the way of the train. We just, we quote it all year long. So it is another family favorite. Then this next movie is not one that I probably would have picked up on my own. I probably just would never have thought to watch it. But my grandmother had it and I, I stayed with her, um, this would be in 2009, in December, I was pregnant with my youngest, with Brooke. And I was due like any minute. <laughs> and my husband didn't want to leave me home alone without a car because we only had one car at the time. So he drove me to my grandmother's house while him and my older two kids um, went and picked out and cut down our Christmas tree that year. And so while I was there, she wanted to watch some Christmas movies. So this was one of the ones that she always watched and she had me watch it with her. And I fell in love with it and now I watch it every single year. And when she passed, I took her DVD and the kids and I carry on the tradition. And that is The House Without a Christmas Tree. This is a very old time type movie. Um, this is 1972 this came out. And it is about a girl who does not have a Christmas tree. She really wants one and her father will not allow one. And um, she, you know, fights against him and really wants it. And it's just a very heartwarming story that you get a lot out of. And the kids really enjoy for something being as old as this movie is. They really, really enjoy it. And I enjoy watching it with them. Now, one movie that we have that is an absolute Christmas must um, is A Christmas Story. We watch it every year. It's on TV for 24 hours. So we always catch it. We just have it on here and there throughout the day. Last year we woke up, everyone was awake at like three or four o'clock in the morning, um, except my youngest. So the rest of us watched it, uh, the full movie straight through. So that is definitely one that we don't own, but we watch every year. There's a few other movies too that we don't own that we definitely watch. Um, I'm trying to think of a few. Frosty, don't have Frosty, but it's on Netflix this year, so we'll be watching it through there. Um, there's a couple of like Hallmark movies that I've really enjoyed over the years that when I catch them on TV, I watch them. Um, I'm just a Christmas movie fanatic. I love pretty much all of them. Oh, Deck the Halls, that's another fun one that the kids and I were thinking about buying this year. We didn't get to it though, but if we catch it on TV, that'll just make our, make our season. Um, so yeah, there's a few that we don't watch, but these last two are absolute favorites. Um, this one, Christmas with the Cranks, is probably one of my favorite Christmas movies. It is not even that great of a Christmas movie sometimes when I think about it, um, but I really, really love it. And now the kids love it and we have to watch it. And like I said, this year I'm gonna be reading the book that it was based on, so I can't wait to get to this one. We also own, it's a very, Merry Muppet Christmas movie. We have watched this a few times. My kids are not that into Muppets. I don't know where I went wrong. Um, I love the Muppets. I grew up, you know, as an 80s baby, so the Muppet Babies were on TV as a cartoon. I watched all their, you know, live action, these Muppets um, all the time. I really love them. I love a Muppets Christmas Carol. I do not own it. I really, really want to own it, so maybe I will. Um, add that to my Amazon wish list for next year. Um, but we have this one and I'm going to watch it. Whether the kids join me or not, that's a different story. Now, this last movie is very, very serious business because my children have been strictly, strictly prohibited from watching this 
any other time of the year, any other day of the year. If they watch it in school, I tell them cover their ears, don't watch it, though I'm sure they still watch it sometimes. Um, but I'm very serious when I say this movie does not get watched until Christmas Eve. This is a once a year thing. It is almost like a rite of passage to get to Christmas. Um, we only watch it on Christmas Eve. We do not watch it before. We do not watch it after. We sit down all as a family. We get our Christmas cookies. We get snacks, whatever the case may be. And we all watch it together. This is what I get to reward myself with at the end of the Christmas season. Um, you know, the, the craziness and the, the, all the stuff that gets, you know, put on the, on the parents to get through Christmas. Um, we watch this after all that is pretty much said and done. And that movie is Elf with Will Ferrell. I love this movie. I love this movie so much you don't even know. I quote this movie all throughout the year. My best friend and I have bought each other um, things based on this movie. We quote it, like I said, all the time. Um, I don't know how it became a Christmas Eve tradition. I know I watched it prior to it becoming a tradition, but it was probably when the year Brooke was born, it probably started. So for at least the last seven or seven years, maybe it was the year before that too. Maybe it's been eight years. No, nine years. Nine years maybe that at least the older kids and I have watched this together on Christmas Eve. So it has been quite some time and now it's a tradition. Now it's not, now it's not ever gonna end. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this movie. If any of you don't know, it's the story of Buddy the Elf who obviously is not a six foot tall elf and it's his story of finding his birth birth father um such a good movie so funny it's just a fun time it's so relaxing it's lighthearted, and i can never get enough of it but i only allow myself the treat once a year because it's just like i said tradition now so i hope you all enjoyed my little christmas movie spectacular here um i just wanted to share something christmasy with you and i don't really have anyone else to to share it with that i thought would enjoy it because all the kids obviously already know about them and my family knows about them so i decided to share it with you i hope you liked it do you guys have any favorite christmas movies that are a must watch or what about christmas traditions are there anything is there anything that you save to watch or anything that you do special on Christmas Eve, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. I'd love to talk to you about it. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and happy reading.